so we are moving to our practical number three that is the wireless LAN controller it is nothing but just uh, setting out the access control list so here we need to go into the wireless devices and you can select the 2504 wireless LAN controller and LAN access point so I'm selecting three LAN access points one switch one server and one laptop now I will connect all the devices I will connect Giga Ethernet with the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 then the Giga Ethernet with the fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 and the Giga Ethernet with fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 we will connect the fast Ethernet for server 2 and with the switch I will connect Giga Ethernet with Giga Ethernet 0 slash 1 of switch 2 and we will connect Giga Ethernet with fast Ethernet so I am done with my connection and now I need to just uh, add the power adapter so what I will do I will just click on the device go to the physical and just drag this power adapter over here so it will be on now the same thing you are supposed to do for the rest two adapters so it is done so let it get converted into the green let us wait for some time Now I will set the IP address for the laptop. Before that I will set the uh, IP address for the wireless LAN controller. We will go to the management and we will give the IP address of 10.10.10.5. Now here subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0. Default gateway will be 10.10.10.1. DNS server will be 10.10.10.2. 10 so uh, the wireless LAN controller setting of wireless LAN controller is done. I will set the IP address for the laptop and then the IP address for the laptop will set the default gateway and also we will set the DNS server we will close this similarly I will go to the server we will go to the config we will give the fast ethernet as 10.10.10.3 subnet mask it is on now what I am supposed to do I am supposed to just on DHCP service so here I will add the default gateway as 10.10.10.1 DNS server as 10.10.10.2 will give the start IP address as 10.10.10.100 maximum number of users will be 100 not going to set any kind of TFTP server but will set the WLC address as 10.10.10.5 will make it start IP address as invalid let me check just have made some kind of mistake over here let me correct it fine so let it let make it on save and close you will need to go to the laptop too here I will go to the web browser before that I will uh, make a ping to my wireless LAN controller let me check whether I am getting any kind of ping over there or not so I am getting ping fine so I will close this we will go to the laptop too we will click on web browser 
and type the IP address of wireless LAN controller you will get a wizard for the configuration you need to wait for some time ok now this is the wizard for the wireless LAN controller create the admin ID create the password and you need to just retype that password the password should be the collection of capital characters small case characters and so on so you need to just uh, make remember that particular thing over here I will click on start we will give the system name as a GJCCS management IP address as 10.10.10.5 Subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 Default gateway will be 10.10.10.1 And we will click on next uh, Here I need to set the employee network So I will set it as a student We will give the IP pa uh, password as uh, anything 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 kind of thing On the next, I'm not going to change anything in RF parameter optimization. So I will click on next. You just need to verify whether I'm doing it correctly or not. Once it is done, I will click on apply. So now you need to wait for one or two minutes. Once the wait is over, you can close. Now here uh, you have done the IP address setting already. So now what you are supposed to do you need to just uh, type the URL address over here it will come as a server reset connection so I need to just put convert the HTTP into HTTPS now you can see the wireless LAN controller is over here admin username and the password whatever you have entered while configuring doing configuration need to check whether all the ports are on or not yes all the ports are on with the, all the IP addresses there is a one wireless LAN already created just need to change the SSID if you want if you don't want to change that is also acceptable but let us change let us make it a student and uh, need to make one more wireless LAN WLAN that is that is a teacher and apply. fine you can click on apply and now you can see all the wireless lands are available over here it is disabled so you need to make it enabled so just go to there again this is the status just click that status now you can see it is enabled now okay I'm not changing any kind of anxiety so just need to change again so I will make it as a student will click on apply you can see now everything is changed as per requirement now I need to add the access point group so I will add the first access point group for the student so this is student AP we'll give it into the capital format add We'll click on the student, we'll click on the wireless LAN, need to click on add new, the student one is already selected, so I will click on add, need to select access point, so I will select the first two access point, that is the 7 and 8, click on add, so it has been assigned already, click on apply, and click on back then you, I need to create one more access point group so here I will create the group for the teacher that is a teacher AP click on add so here I need to add the wireless LAN so I just will do the add new now I will select teacher 2 click on add it's all added already and tools are assigned to the student one will be assigned to the teacher go to the apply click on the apply back let us check so the teacher is there having one AP access point 
and the student is there with having two access points so now it is done now uh, you can see the LAN here you can see the uh, LAN provider is a student and here you can see the provider is a teacher this one is also for the student so that is your practical number three now let us see the actual connection so I will take uh, one smart device we'll click on that particular smart device and we'll make uh, this as a static first then we'll click on the uh, wireless we'll write down the student as the SSID is a student because I want to connect that particular thing with the student so now I will give the password we'll check for the connectivity wait for some time let's see whether it is getting connected or not similarly I will take uh, one wireless tablet need to change that uh, now DSCP let's wait now this one is also need to just uh, add now this this should be connected to the teacher let's see whether it is getting connected or not okay it is getting connected and definitely student will also be connected after some time so this is your practical number three let us take one more uh, thing for the smartphone 3 let's make the change over here okay now you can see it is connected so now you can just uh, transfer the packets it's coming as a successful thank you